today, it's Liga, baby. The hardest card game that's ever been taught. Get ready, baby. Get ready. Two simple videos. One for beginners, two for advanced. We teach you everything from how to play to how to play with your partner, how to read your partner, how to make sure everything is on point, and how to be a king and a champion amongst Lebanese men. Let's do it. So if you already know how to play, I recommend you go hit the advanced and then see all the recommendations and the skills and strategies that I broke down in the second video. If not, watch this video fully before you go to the second video because it's not gonna make any sense. 2v2. The players sitting across from each other are partners. First player to reach 101 points loses for the team. So if one player, if one of your opponents is at 80 and the other one's at 20, you wanna attack that guy and hope he eats more to get, in, to get him to 101 so that you can win. So you always shuffle the cards before every round, 13 cards to each player, one at a time, starting to the right of the dealer. The one who eats the queen deals next, always. Here are the Arabic translations for the suits. Spades is bestowni. Diamonds, dineri. Coppa is hearts. Gold books. Spetti is clubs. This is the queen of spades, worth 13 points. Bint and the ten of diamonds, which is worth 10 points. El dinari. Ashra. Each heart is worth one point. Before every game, you must pass three cards to the opponent to your right. This is called the gift. Lehdiyi. Be sure to give your gift before grabbing the gift that was given to you. So you can't know what was gifted to you before you give your gift. You give your gift and then you grab yours. You choose any cards you want, but ideally you wanna choose cards that will um, harm your opponent and save you from harm. That's the goal. The goal is to feed them certain cards and because you know those cards as you play, you can use that to strategically kind of maneuver because you know what your opponent has. Life just told me to have more fun, but this is Liga and it's very serious. The person to the right of the dealer starts every round. Whatever is played, that suit is the suit for that mini round. So whatever the first person plays, everyone has to play that suit. If they don't have it, then they can drop whatever they want. Unless they have, unless they have a licha, then they have to drop a licha. Or if you run out of any suit and you have a licha, you have to drop the licha. That means regardless of who's about to eat the queen, if you can drop the queen or the 10, you have to drop them. So the lichas have to be dropped if you have an opportunity to drop it. So if someone plays a higher card, you drop it regardless of who's gonna eat it, right? Okay, the gift is huge in this game. Big cards control the game and they also put you at risk at eating things. So the gift and what cards you give away is very important. Here are a few examples of different gifts that you should give for beginners just so you can kind of get an idea of what to do. There's three different ways that you can gift. The most glorious way is to gift a card that's larger than the licha. Then keep playing that suit and force the opponent to drop that card, therefore eating the licha. The second gift strategy is to give the opponent hearts, high hearts, right? And then chase him until he drops the hearts and then eats several points because he just ate a bunch of hearts. One point for each heart. And the third way is to get rid of one suit and keep the lichas with you. So get rid of everything you got in one suit and then when they come after you, drop the licha on them. Only the cards that are played can speak to your partner. So you don't say anything, you don't kick each other from across the table, you don't hit each other, you only play the card and based on the cards you play, you will be giving signals to your opponents and to your partner. I'll go over this in more depth in the advanced video, but for now, that's all you need to know. The first person from any team to reach 101 points loses. That's how the game goes. As soon as you reach 101, it's game over. You tally up the points at the end of each round, you count up how many points you have, and then you have one assigned person writing down the, the score after every round. Add up the points, make sure they're 36 to validate that you counted all the points up. So that's what we need to know to get started, but I'm gonna run through some gameplay so that you can better understand how the flow of the game works. For this round, the player decided to choose diamonds as the suit for the mini round. 
then the person that ate that round got to choose the next round and played clubs. Whoever eats the clubs round will then choose the next suit until all the cards are played and the mini round is over. Tally up the score and start the next round. Whoever ate the queen deals. I tried to put everything that you could need in this video. If I missed anything, please leave it in the comments. Let me know and then I'll add it um, in the description below. I'm going to give you a lot more in the next video. So click here and go to the next video. What's that?